welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a picture frame and a memo board from pallet wood. The picture frame can easily go with your farmhouse decor or it even has a little rustic flare. And the memo board is a decorative piece that can help you keep organized. So, let's get started. I started out by removing all the nails from the pallet wood. This took a few minutes, but it saved time in the long run, as well as allowing me to be able to use more of the board and less waste. Project number one is a picture frame. This frame will hold a 8x10 or a 5x7. The dimensions of the frame itself is 15 inches long and 9 inches wide. I started out by cutting the pallet wood. I used three pieces at 15 inches To hold the frame together, I cut out two pieces of trim for each frame and nailed it in place. The trim was 7 inches in length. I wanted the frames that I was making to be able to stand alone. So I cut a support out of the pallet wood. These supports were 10 and a half inches in length and it needed one support for each frame. After cutting the supports, I set them aside and you will see how I attach them later. Now for the fun part, I just took some white paint that I had on hand and dry brushed the frame. I only painted the front and the corners, but you could have painted the back as well. Now back to the support board. I attached the support board to the frame with these miniature hinges I found on Amazon. At first I just used one hinge and that was not enough so I had to redo it and make sure I used two hinges, one on each corner. To make the support for the frame stable, I took a piece of twine and stapled it to the, from the support to the frame.
Now to decorate. I added a bow at the very top. I just stapled it in place. This bow is very simple to make. If you're interested in seeing how I make this type of bow, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video. To hold the pictures in place, I just bought these inexpensive clips from Amazon. I just screwed them in place with some screws that I had left over from another project. For the final touches of the frame, I went ahead and cut a piece of ribbon for the bottom. It was about 15 inches in length and made out of the same kind of material as the bow on the top. I just hot glued it in place and then on the back added some staples for extra support. Project number two, the memo board. I started out by cutting a piece of 1x8 that would serve as the chalkboard portion of my memo board. The dimensions of the chalkboard end up being 8x10 and I just nailed it to the front of my memo board. The backing or the main portion of the memo board is made out of the pallet wood and I cut the boards at 16 inches in length and I used four of these. To hold everything in place, I used a 1x2 cut at 9 inches in length. Each memo board took two pieces. It took about three coats of chalkboard paint to completely cover the chalkboard portion of my memo board. Once the chalkboard had completely been covered and dried, I also dry brushed the back portion of the memo board as well. Now it's time to add the twine. I cut a piece of twine at 15 inches, tied a knot at each end, and then stapled them in place. Once that was secure, I just hot glued some clothes pins that I had gotten from the dollar store. Now 
I just embellish the backboard with uh, some stenciling. At first I had used the stencil without painting a background to the stencil but it really didn't show up so I had to start over and it worked, showed up better with a black background and then white stencil lettering over the top. I hope this DIY video has inspired you to do a DIY project of your own.